Across the United States, cities and states are facing an escalating water crisis, and one ambitious solution is about to change the landscape forever. In Colorado, a massive project is underway to flood an entire valley, creating a reservoir that will serve as a vital water source for thousands of residents. But this isn't just a story of construction and engineering, it's a response to the pressures of population growth, climate change and water scarcity. As the Chimney Hollow Reservoir begins to take shape, we have to ask, is this bold move a smart investment for the future or a dangerous gamble? The concept for a massive water storage project in northern Colorado was developed more than 20 years ago, intending to meet the area's increasing water demands. In 2004, Northern Water and Larimer County made a notable advancement by acquiring a 3,500-acre property for $3.8 million, partly financed by the Great Outdoors Colorado Lottery. Originally, this site was meant to function as a retreat center by Hewlett Packard, but the project was scrapped, enabling the region to be transformed for water storage. Even with its promising potential, the project encountered many obstacles, such as extensive environmental assessments, legal issues, and discussions within the community. Nonetheless, work on the new water storage facility began in August 2021, and the project is still scheduled for completion by 2025, representing a key progress in ensuring water resources for northern Colorado's future. The project's estimated cost is said to be $690 million, where $570 million is solely for the construction of the dam, and the other $150 million is reserved for enhancing the water infrastructure in the Western Slope area. The new dam will offer 990,000 acre-feet of water storage, which is quite an impressive feat. The surface area of the reservoir will cover 740 acres, while the dam will achieve a maximum depth of 330 feet, marking a significant improvement to the area's water supply. Standing at 350 feet tall and stretching 3,700 feet long, the dam is a remarkable construction designed to manage substantial volumes of water. A significant advancement in the project is its basic design, featuring a hydraulic asphalt core, which is only the second of this type in the U.S. and the largest in the nation. This innovative design improves the dam's strength and efficiency in water storage, guaranteeing that the project is not only expansive, but also leading in engineering advancements. The choice to use an asphalt core in the Chimney Hollow Dam stems from a lack of clay in the region, commonly utilized in dam building for its capacity to stop water from seeping through. The asphalt core, on the other hand, provides many benefits compared to clay. It is more adaptable, enabling it to more effectively manage changes in the Earth's motion and endure pressure over time. Asphalt enhances durability as well, guaranteeing that the dam stays watertight in different environmental conditions, such as changes in temperature and seismic events. Before the main dam was built, a temporary coffer dam was set up to control water flow and create a dry space for construction. The whole process required the removal of 2 million cubic yards of soil and 500,000 cubic yards of rock. The coffer dam established a secure setting for the primary construction activities, guaranteeing that the foundation could be properly placed without the threat of flooding. Before we move on, I'd like to ask you a small favor. If you like this content, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Over 98% of you watch the videos without subscribing. Imagine what we could accomplish if everyone subscribed. It costs you nothing, but it makes a huge difference to us. So, is it done? Great, thank you so much. The concrete platform serves as a strong reinforced base for the dam, offering it a stable foundation. The plinth is essential for the dam's stability, as it secures the whole structure to the earth. It is additionally linked to a grout curtain, which enhances the foundation and stops water from leaking under the dam. Thanks to the concrete base, the dam can withstand the pressure of water in the reservoir. This makes it stable and strong even against natural forces. Another important part that contributes to preventing water seepage is the grout curtain. It is made by mixing cement and water, pumping it into the ground beneath the dam and creating a barrier. 
This grout fills up any gaps or spaces that need to be solidified in order to prevent water from entering the reservoir. This strategy is essential for guaranteeing the dam's ability to retain water and preventing contamination of the nearby ecosystems. The grout curtain contributes to the long-term sustainability and structural integrity of the dam. The Chimney Hollow Dam's structure consists of a rock-fill body made up of a combination of gravel and rocks. This design is durable and impermeable to water, offering both resilience and stability to the dam. The hydraulic asphalt core extends through the middle of the rock fill structure, improving its ability to resist water seepage. The rock fill structure acts as the primary support for the dam, offering a robust barrier capable of enduring external forces while keeping the water safely enclosed. It's an economical option that also provides adaptability to shifting environmental circumstances. An essential safety component of the Chimney Hollow Dam is its spillway, which is created to safely discharge surplus water in times of heavy rainfall, snowmelt, or extreme flooding events. The spillway protects the dam from being flooded by water, which might result in structural harm or collapse. By diverting extra water from the dam, it aids in preserving the stability of the structure and preventing flooding in nearby regions. The spillway is a meticulously designed element that guarantees the security of the dam and its nearby areas, even during unforeseen weather events or a large increase of water. The Chimney Hollow Reservoir's water supply system connects the reservoir to its water using an intricate system. This allows the water flow to remain controlled and steady. There are many components that make up this system, including an inlet and outlet, an upstream channel, a grout chamber, and an advanced valve system. Thanks to these meticulously created components, the water quality and the system efficiency can be maintained without any complications. A 2,000-foot tunnel was constructed to facilitate water movement between the reservoir and its sources. This tunnel is a significant engineering feat, designed to handle the pressures of water flow while maintaining the structural integrity of the system. Building the tunnel necessitated employing 5,000 cubic yards of reinforced concrete to create the inlet and outlet structures, guaranteeing durability and stopping water from seeping through. The reinforced concrete guarantees that the structures can endure the significant pressure from the water and stay operational over the long term. A network of large diameter steel pipes transports water to and from the reservoir, further supporting the system's water delivery. To fulfill the region's increasing demands, a number of 126-inch steel pipes are used to ensure that massive amounts of water can be transported effectively and swiftly. Windy Gap Reservoir serves as the main supply of water for Chimney Hollow Reservoir. This reservoir is located at the Colorado River's west slope. The flow to the reservoir starts with a six-mile pumping trip from Windy Gap to Lake Granby. The water then travels through a complex system known as the Colorado Big Thompson or CBT infrastructure. This includes passage through Shadow Mountain Reservoir, Grand Lake, and the Adams Tunnel. The water travels a total of 13.1 miles, passing four reservoirs and three power plants before finally reaching the Chimney Hollow Reservoir, ensuring a steady and reliable flow. There are specialized inlet and outlet towers designed to exit the Chimney Hollow Reservoir. They would control the flow of water and keep the water level maintained at all times. The Chimney Hollow Reservoir will be filled over a three-year period, beginning in July 2025, depending on seasonal snowmelt and climatic conditions. This extended timeline ensures the dam's structural integrity and compliance with environmental protections. Large quantities of materials are needed for the project, including 100,000 cubic yards of asphalt concrete, 6.18 million cubic feet of rock fill, and specially mixed asphalt for increased durability and flexibility. The Chimney Hollow Reservoir Project tackles a crucial issue, securing a reliable water source for northern Colorado's growing population. Do you think it's the right move? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive, please hit that thumbs up to like our video. 
subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all our latest videos, and stay tuned for more mega projects.